Since winning the by-election on February 13th, Wayne Gates has hit the ground running. We caught up with him to find out what life is like as a new MPP. I think over the course of the last uh, five weeks, uh, we've hit the ground running. We're trying to raise all the issues we can uh, um, to bring our message to Niagara that we have some real challenges down here, uh, but there's fixes. And, but to get the fixes, uh, we have to make sure that collectively, uh, whether you're an NDP or whether you're a Liberal, whether you're a Conservative, we all have kids, we all have grandkids. Uh, we've got to find solutions so that they have a future. I think the biggest change for me is the fact that uh, um, I'm, in, uh, I'm in Toronto for four days. Uh, so I'm, I'm staying right now, I'm staying uh, in Toronto for those four days. Um, I think the hardest part, quite frankly, has been on, uh, on my wife and uh, my daughter. Uh, um, I was always, uh, you know, in the morning I would drive uh, Jacqueline to school, or uh, uh, my wife might pick her up, but we'd be able to kind of work together. Uh, so I think uh, uh, that's probably the biggest change that uh, um, I think my, my wife's finding. New question, member from Niagara Falls. What was it like to speak as a member of provincial parliament for the first time? Well, that's a good question because it was the day I got sworn in. Um, I had a lot of family members. I had uh, a lot of my friends from uh, Unifor. I had some firefighters, which I was really excited about, that uh, came up to my swearing in. Um, that happened at 9.30. <coughs> Took some pictures. That was family pictures. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I... Um, Went to question period for the first time, and I actually asked two questions you, uh, my first day. So my first day on the job, I had Niagara the privilege of uh, asking questions. And again, I talked about Niagara and uh, the 40-year racetrack and Parliament Oak School, all the things that we campaigned on. I can tell you that uh, um, in the job that I had prior to being MPP, I spoke a lot. I spoke a lot at uh, City Council. I, was not, uh, uh, I wasn't intimidated or nervous. I was more focused on getting the message, uh, our message in Niagara uh, to Queen's Park and I felt uh, for the first day to ask two questions, uh, I was pretty thrilled about it, but I certainly wasn't intimidated or anything like that. It's, uh, but I was very pleased that uh, they gave me the opportunity to do that. Wayne Gates has been looking to Cindy Forrester for help with his transition to Queen's Park. Uh, Cindy volunteered in my campaign. She worked every day in Fort Erie. Uh, she was there every day. Um, my understanding, she normally takes uh, vacation during that period of time. She took no vacation. She worked uh, 10, 12 hours a day uh, trying to get me elected. Uh, when I went to uh, Queen's Park, uh, obviously uh, um, she's been the one that I've kind of gone to and said if I have any questions and she's been anything I needed, uh, Cindy couldn't help more. And then um, we got into a, a little bit of a bind uh, at the office here because we we had to get it open. We had to we had to start uh, providing a service to uh, to the residents, and she lent me Mike Haynes uh, from her office. Uh, and he's been here for the last three weeks. Uh, he's going back to Cindy's office next week. Uh, but he's uh, he's got you know over 20 years experience of uh, of doing the job. Uh, so we were able not only to hit the hit hit the ground running up in Queen's Park, we are able to hit the ground running right here in our office. He's done an incredible job. In the weeks ahead, Gates will be opening his main office in Niagara Falls, as well as satellite offices in Fort Erie and Niagara-on-the-Lake. Reporting for The Source, I'm Kendra Dyer.